Hi, Micro Puncher here. Should you buy yourself a used microscope, which is quite low cost, or a more um, expensive one, which is new? Well, there is a question relating to this, and uh, I would like to share this question with you, and then I'd like to give you my opinion on this issue. I found a used amp scope for sale for $70, but it is missing almost all accessories, and I do not know how well it was cared for. Would this be worth considering, or should I go with a new Omax for around $210? So first of all, thank you for the question. And uh, this is not supposed to be now a comparison between Amscope and Omax. I think uh, both of them are quite similar anyway. But uh, I would say that this is rather a question on what your personal approach to microscopy is and what your personal expectations are. So you understand that I'm trying to reframe the question now. I'm not even talking about it right now, mostly what's the better deal here. Uh, but actually I think it's, it's also not even so much a question of, of, of money really alone uh, I think it is more um, a question of uh, what your personal approach to microscopy is um, first of all if uh, you want uh, to do observation work um, and uh, if you want to have uh, absolutely no nonsense microscope um, where you do not have to do any maintenance and uh, you can almost be sure it works quite great out of the box then of course I would uh, go for a new microscope um, because uh, they have done of course a quality check uh, before they send it to you and uh, of course all the parts are present and uh, this allows you to get started right away so if the focus is a lot on observation and if you're not so much interested in the overhead and microscope maintenance and trying to maybe cleaning and in maybe buying additional accessories and so on if just observation if that is the main thing um, then I would say well then go please go ahead for the um, for the new microscope because otherwise so you have to spend additional money of course uh, to buy other parts together and then until you have a functioning microscope um, if however you say well my uh, hobby the, my, the hobby is is something where I'm also a little bit uh, interested in some hands-on uh, microscope maintenance. I want to learn a little bit more um, the background uh, of uh, microscope hardware. Maybe I want to do some um, eyepiece shopping. I want to maybe uh, do a little bit of uh, maintenance concerning the objectives, maybe, doing ha maybe having to do a little bit of cleaning. If uh, you interpret the hobby this way, where you can learn a lot, by the way, well then I would say, okay, then it might be worth uh, trying uh, to go for the 70 euro um, used microscope, $70 used microscope. Um, but I would say that uh, this is also dependent a little bit on, on how much of the microscope is missing. Now, if, for example, uh, some very relevant parts um, are missing, it says here um, there are almost all of the accessories are missing. Now, I don't know what this now refers to in this case, the accessories. Well, eyepieces can be easily bought, uh, but there might be some other parts that are not so easily bought. I mean, I don't know if it's uh, so easily possible to buy um, condensers uh, for the microscope uh, because they're simply not available publicly. Um, for smaller brands. So then I would actually say that it might not be uh, worth going for the low cost microscope because simply um, there are, uh, it's too difficult to obtain uh, the parts. So it's not, it's not only a question of cost really. Um, so what I would say is, is that, uh, that the answer to this question depends on your personal um, interpretation of the hobby um, on one hand and also on the availability of parts. And then of course, um, buying uh, new um, eyepieces or, and so on, all these things uh, of course also costs money. So it could quite well be that sooner or later you might end up going already into the direction of, um, of a new microscope. But then again, this depends a lot um, on uh, which uh, accessories are actually missing right now. Um, I would probably say that um, you can learn quite a lot uh, by putting together your own microscope and doing a lot of uh, microscope maintenance yourself. Um, that's maybe learning it a little bit the hard way. Um, uh, but I would say um, this then also gives you a lot of self-confidence uh, to, uh, yeah, to do some microscope maintenance yourself. Um, what about the situation about uh, buying used uh, expensive microscope? I'm, I'm talking about, you know, those microscopes from Leica, um, Olympus, Nikon, Zeiss. Uh, these are very well-known um, high-end brand microscopes. And uh, often it is like this, that those you microscopes, even when they're used, they can be quite expensive, uh, quite expensive. So um, it's uh, easily possible, very easily possible to buy a new uh, Amscope Omax uh, microscope which costs significantly less 
maybe even uh, a tenth of, of the price uh, or fifth of the price um, to that of a new uh, of a used uh, uh, expensive brand uh, microscope like for example Olympus or Nikon or Zeiss um, and the reason is, is that those um, high-end microscopes they were man manufactured you know, with a slightly different mindset you know, those uh, microscopes um, are um, designed in such a way that they can be easily maintained also by service companies and so for example a CHA microscope that I um, got uh, used uh, which was not functioning at all I'm now currently doing a service um, on that and I downloaded a service manual online so it means that those microscopes were actually designed uh, to be taken apart and uh, cleaned and be put back together again and also there is a large second-hand market available of spare parts so uh, why am I saying this I'm saying that a used microscope is not the same as a used microscope and that, um, as a matter of fact, a brand named used microscope, expensive brand named used microscopes, um, are again maybe a slightly different category than for used microscopes uh, that uh, on only uh, cost around seventy dollars. So that is kind of the the, the thing here a little bit. Um, in summary, um, I'm not going to be able to answer this question for you. Um, however, because some people want to have a, a clear answer, I would recommend the following: if you are a beginner. Um, uh, then probably tend more towards buying a, a new microscope uh, which basically where you know it's going to work out of the box and if it doesn't work you can always return it of course there's no reason why it shouldn't work um, but in, if you're slightly ex more experienced and if you want to go a little bit into maintenance uh, then buy yourself um, a used microscope um, but um, overall it's also a question of uh, how you interpret the hobby i wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always and see you again next time bye bye